I'm Dave. I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to the episode of DJ Projects 5959. So this week at DJ Projects, there's a massive fencing job. Really, really super, super big. We've got training yet again. Life saving training. Plenty of deliveries, plenty of grabs. And the struggler helped us struggle out of a few problems. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Let us know what you think down below. So good morning guys and welcome back to another episode at D&J Projects. It is a pleasure having you guys here once again for episode 59. Can you believe we've been doing this for over 59 episodes because we're not even counting the holiday ones, the random videos. Over 59 weeks in a row, probably 60, maybe even 70 weeks in a row. But on paper, it's 59. If we can start by liking this video, because I can't tell you how much that helps the channel grow. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. We don't know by when, but we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. So please like this video. Subscribe if you're brand new, because that helps the channel. And if you do subscribe, you're gonna be seeing some awesome content from me, my dad, and DJ Projects. And definitely, comment down below what you think of the video because we love that interaction every single day when a video has gone live i'm always looking to see what people have been putting what comments are down it really does put a smile on my face if you can interact with the channel i'd very much appreciate it but anyway it's me today it's ant today and it's a fencing job today bit my dad has had a super early morning he's gone to go and collect the steels from birmingham did anyone see big red on your travels this morning so i'm not sure if he's filmed you're gonna see whatever my dad does today after you saw us do some fencing because it's a big fencing job today last time i was there was a few months ago and i believe the trees have come down now that's what it says on the quotation hopefully i'm not wrong and those trees are down that'll be the worst case scenario turning up and something's not been done when you're told it will be done hopefully it's all done but well, we're all strapped we're going to go to the petrol station get some fuel i'm going to treat him to a costa because jordan treated me to one so it's only fair i treat Antoine, not jordan i don't know how that works but it works and then we're gonna head to that job. So we'll see you when we get to the job. We are on the job and the trees are gone. You can see this gap here. There used to be trees. What I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try and show you on screen now what this was looking like the last time I came to quote. I may have to take a picture of the iPad because I'm not sure if I'll have the actual pictures on my phone. I'll take a picture of the iPad and I'll show you on screen now. Hopefully you can see that there is a lot of trees. It is a lot different from a while, from about, no, I speak English, <laughs> from what you're about to see right now. Of course there's a few trees, but all of this is a lot clearer now. And this is what we're changing. We're changing all of this. And then just behind this big tree bush thing here, we're changing, I say we're changing, there is no fence here. So we're putting a fence from where it's finished to here, right here. Rather than follow this odd line, we've been told we're definitely allowed to go in this line right here. It's all been confirmed. And I don't know if you can see that post there. You probably can on camera. It's leaning way that way. We're gonna bring that post, knock everything around it, get it back to how it should be, nice and level and plumb. But yeah, that's the job. All of this, all of this should be a good one, guys. Been told as well, when we take all of this down, because we're doing this side first, because it's the hardest, it's working down the hill. If you're ever doing fencing, start at the top hill, work down the hill. And the neighbors behind, they're keeping the dogs in. So we can continue with this fence and rather have the dogs come out because the big dogs apparently, and maybe some German shepherds, some big boys, Japanese Akitas. All I've been told is the big boys. So they're keeping them in for the time being. So we can get a bit of this fencing down. We'll probably get one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll probably go down to that post. Uh, take all of that down today to that post so we can then crack on reason we're going all the way down to that post and setting up our string lines there is because if we might not make it all the way down there and i don't want to leave it open for the neighbor and the god and the dog god i can't speak sorry guys i'm terrible everyone thinks me and my dad are a professional at this youtube and i can assure you we are not professionals we're always always muddling our words but with your support by liking these videos maybe we'll get better as you can see, Ant started already to start battling this fencing. There's going to be some shrubs attached to it because you can see all of the ivy. It's going to be a nightmare. We're going to be on this for around about an hour, I'd say, taking it all down. 
I'll say taking it down, taking around about five bays worth down. So let's get cracking on. I've got some out now, haven't I? Yeah, looking good. Just need to get that one down and that away. This one on the left hand side here, that is staying because that's returning fencing all the way down there. This one here, that one can come out the way, I believe. And then we've got another concrete post. Are they all concrete posts or? No, we've got one concrete there. No, then it goes to timber with spur posts again. So I believe they're the last concrete ones. Of course, the spur posts are concrete, but get past this bit here, and it's going to be so much bloody more easier there. We're battling all of this ivy on both sides of the fence, hence why that big shrub come out in the first place. It just wouldn't detach from the panel, and the only way to get that panel out was to take that shrub with it. And that's what you've got to do sometimes, guys. When you're battling this sort of stuff, sometimes it's so interwrapped into the panel, there's nothing else you can do but try and get it out. There's that fence that runs down there that connects to that post there. But we keep on going. We keep on going. That's all you can do, right? concrete art smashed it you know what I'm proud van done an amazing job so far i'll tell you something though guys oh my god is this garden a sun trap or what what a lovely garden to have he's sweating you know when you when he gets not yet there, you know i'm doing work <laughs> i'm not sweating i've just got the belly on there look at the minute um starting the diet today though guys 215 pounds for anyone wondering around about just over 15 stone got 16 weeks till the next holiday so and see if I can lose some weight. And doing work like this, I think it's gonna help, ain't it, mate? It's gonna help. <laughs> but yes, right then, that's all we're gonna take out for the time being, because we wanna get some fencing in here to block them dogs from coming out, because we don't wanna be attacked by dogs, and we also wanna make it nice and safe for the dogs. So, gonna get the customer out in a second. Gonna show her the line from around about there. We've already spoke about starting from here rather than there and kicking out to come back in customer would prefer it if it was to start there we'll fill that gap in of course but if we start somewhere here for example and work our way down it has got a natural curve on we like doing a curve on don't we mate we love doing a natural curve so you can see how it curves sort of down back just over there and if i stand back in line here guys it's sort of here like this and then she starts to move herself back round down the back of that tree so it's like a natural just ever so slight curve half moon not too crazy obviously the old posts are over there so we're not following their line because they're like all over this customers asked if we'll just greatly carry it around there so i'll get the customer we'll get this first post in maybe this first bay in and we'll catch back up as always not too shabby can't see him but he's just started. Let's keep cracking on.
quite a bit to go. Yes, um, yes, yep. In the jungle. As always, guys, we're aiming for 94. I'm thinking not too shabby. Let us know in the comments what you're thinking. Not too shabby. It's bloody warm today though. It is warm indeed. It's a long walk, it's a long trek. But me and Ant are smashing it, smashing it indeed. Getting a lovely little curve on just here. I'll just show you. Lovely little curve working our way around. And of course, because we've stepped out from the neighbor's garden like cast, there's a bit more of a divide between the two neighbor's garden where it used to finish. And of course, we're gonna fill that in. There's actually one up there as well, you see it? Because obviously again, we've stepped out. We're gonna fill that in, we're gonna fill that in. So need not worry guys, doing a lovely little curve. Working our way down there. I'm happy with this one. Another one bites the dust. Smashing it in this heat. We love it. Another bay just here. And then we've got to where I wanted to get to today. Bearing in mind we didn't get here till gone at 12 o'clock because we've had such a super busy morning and then ripping it down and then starting the walk, the heat. It's been a hard day. Not going to lie. It has been a hard day, hasn't it, mate? Right, mate it's yeah. quarter to four. We believe we can get this one in. We're a little bit out from the yard, not too far. We're near that 85 bay fencing job, if anyone knows where that one was. So we've got this one here. Um, we'll block that bit up for the night. And then it's one, two, three, four, five. But we're a little bit further back. So five and a bit that way tomorrow. Oh yeah, and then we'll start from up there, working our way down. Because remember, always start at the top, work your way down. It's a lot easier when you're judging the post depths. But Ant is smashing it as always. We're gonna set up the tripod. In fact, we're going to have a Pepsi because the customer's got us one. I'm going to set up the tripod and then we're going to crack on with this last bait. Because there be, uh, used to be a load of trees down here, guys, uh, hopefully you saw it on that picture. The ground's really dry, so all the moisture's gone from the ground, so it's really hard to get out. Of course, there's a lot of roots in here because of the trees. It's really dry.
Two. two inches. Not as far off as we thought though. Yeah, two inches. Not bad. And there we have that post. Sitting pretty, sitting nicely. So as Ant ravels the straps, we'll just show you today's progress. Very happy with that. Looking very nice indeed. Definitely not too shabby. I said that about four or five times today and I love it. There you go. Running all the way down there. So we've just blocked off for the dogs so we're going to run all the way to that corner corner posting at the height that we need it and then we're going to start from there we're turning all the way down there should have a good day of fencing tomorrow who knows get here early enough we might even get it done that'd be nice won't it but seeing as you've saw enough of me and Ant today let's go and see what my dad's been doing for dj projects on this fine monday hopefully he's had a grueler like us and it's me and Ant again. It's not my dad because my dad didn't film yesterday. I believe he's going to be filming today. So you will be seeing some of my dad in the grab today. So I believe anyway. But me and Ant, we're back on this lovely fencing job. We've had to stop for a quick cost on route. Seeing as was driving by, time to start cracking on. With this fence down here. It's going to be a good one, guys, this one. Hoping for a bit of progress today. Not sure where we're going to get to. I'd like to get to that corner today. That would be very nice. We should get to that corner today. We're going to aim to get to that corner today. So, we're going to have a little drink and then we're about to start cracking on. All the posts are gone. They're down there. They've been dug out. They've been cut out of the way. And now me and Ant, we can continue. We cannot wait to get into the shade down there. Because we're dying in this heat. And it's only around about 11, quarter past 11. Well, it's going to be hard, but we're just going to crack on because we don't get defeated at d, &D Projects. Right next to the tree now, as Lance just said, we're gonna definitely gonna get some roots off this bad boy, this silver birch. As you can see, that's where it's gotta go. But we're getting ever so close to that one right there. Just keep plodding on. Just gonna get a drink now though, cause uh, you gotta keep hydrated when the weather's like this. So we managed to get that one there with the tree. It was bloody hard and it took way too long. If we've been doing them at around about 20 minutes, 30 minutes a bay, I bet that was 45 minutes to an hour because as you can imagine the roots that you're getting off the silver birch were a nightmare 
We've already dug our next hole, just need to take it a tiny bit deeper. We're guessing anyway. We, we haven't took the measurement because obviously we haven't put the panel on. We've pretty much just got our gravel board to how we want it, leveled off. Pretty much level with the other gravel board now because the ground isn't too crazy. You can see it raises up a bit there, but we're going to dig a trench over. We'll never drop the fencing down and then go back up if we can help it. Of course, if the ground is naturally quite like that, we have to. Where the ground runs down and then only ever slightly goes up, we can dig a trench there to make it more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So we'll get the panel, we'll get the post, and we'll do it with these magic fingers. And there we have another one. Another one bites the dust, as they say. Another one to around about there, another one to around about there. It's coming along. I'm on a diet, but I had to have a little custard donut. Energy was gone. Still not looking too shabby though, is it guys? Very, very happy with this one that me and Ant have done. Looking very nice. What a difference a day makes pretty much. Yeah, what a difference a day makes. Obviously, there's the old panels, not been treated in a long time. New panels, new fence, looking very good. Just show you what we've got to do tomorrow. So tomorrow, this fencing is gonna run down. So it is one full size bay two full-size bays and then it's like a five foot ish bay there give or take so that'll be a sliding job that one i'm going to measure that one now jamie will be able to make that so we can bring that for tomorrow Ant and jordan are going to be on this fencing job tomorrow so they're going to finish this part of the job they'll cut a gravel board get the gravel board in there and if anyone's wondering why we left this post here it's because it returns this fencing across here we take that out we disturb that fencing that's not something we've been asked to do so that is the right thing to do leave that go past it as we were told run up in the angle in the line that we were asked to do not in line with these spur posts right here but it's looking quite good just need to tidy up tidy up for the customer i'm very happy with it though guys I'm very happy with this one so with all that done i mean i'm packed away let's go and see what my dad's been doing on this glorious day i know he's been filming so you guys are in for a treat good morning it's, it's Tuesday morning. I did not film anything yesterday. I do apologize. I had to get stuff done. I went to go and fetch the steels. I got caught in traffic. There was a bad accident. Then I come back, I went to the quarry and then I did a couple of grabs. I couldn't actually film because that customer doesn't like being filmed. So yeah, not much production. Well, lots of production, not much production on the filming side. But yeah, today we're gonna drop two plum slate off. We've got two bags to pick up. We have got slabs to pick up in the van and we have got some more slate to pick up. I will film it this time. And the hardcore grab, so yeah, we are busy today and I need to finish early as well. So yeah, less of the talking, let's get on with it. So we've arrived at this one, so let's get it off.
so then that was a nice easy one two bag drop off from sleep what we picked up yesterday and we bagged ourselves you'll see that later on when i show you collecting some gray sleep now it's a two bag pickup we'll go and grab this then we'll ring lucas see how he is with his yeah we'll do this bag ring lucas in fact i'll ring lucas now see if he's ready for me so Lucas ain't quite ready for me, so I'm gonna do the two bag pickup first and then drive over to Lucas's. So let's get to it. Here we are, let's get these on. There we have it, on the back. Just green wasting that one. Really, really light. So didn't bother putting my leg out, just put the pad underneath. Yeah, on to the next one. them all dropped off just dropped around the back when we get a full load of green we'll get rid of them i think next i'm going to nip over to the quarry just give lucas gardens a little bit more time to get ready for me let's head to that quarry Go down the slope and wait at the bottom. Someone's being loaded at the minute. here a minute yeah it looks like it's been uh, loaded now big arctic i like the setup here it's really really simple really easy no we're doing that just see the green light that's give us the go ahead to get weighed off and then we wait until this light goes green and then we could pull off we pulled it down there just to blow the slope Wait to the uh, digger driver. Gives us the go ahead and where he wants us. Yeah, I think this guy is doing us. Just took his forks off and put his bucket on. Nice quick release system like what we've got. And he's calibrating it now. Lifting it up, zero in it. Just like what we do with ours. saying his scales are just messed up so now he's gonna work out himself so whatever was in that last bucket whatever it is add up to eight ton because that's what we've ordered and they give me the little two Put 
the crane down, gloves off, pull back onto the bridge and see if his uh, calculations are right. I hope so, otherwise we've got to go grab a bit off. Absolutely spot on. this hill. There we go. I'll pull up. I'll just nip and go and get my ticket. So that's it. It's the quarry experience over. <laughs> Back to the yard. Put my glasses up there. See if the glasses and my gloves are wet. So yeah. Back to the yard, let's get it bagged up. Well, I'll take this off because I'll be melted. Let me hold up. So, yeah, back to the yard. Me and Jordan will bag it up. You just slide the bag on, the opposite, there, and all we're doing is grabbing and putting it in. And we know on the marker and on the bag what the weight is. So, let's crack on. That's basically it. Jordan gives me the nod and I'm gonna stop. Now what he'll do, he'll take that bag out and he'll go and stack it with them over there. There we have it, we've emptied it off. John's just sweeping last bit up, half the back there, it's all there. So now we've got plum slate, grey slate, we've got some 20 mil pea gravel, and we have got some Warwickshire gold. So if you are in the market of some, you know where to come. Let's go and get that grab done. Well, started recording that one, and the phone overheated. So we didn't get that. Bit of a weird one, and all the customer was there watching, making sure, obviously it's for Lucas Gardens. Making sure you've got every last little crumb on. Bless him. So yeah, he's a little bit particular, which yeah, we're, we're tidy up. We do a good job, but really do tidy up. But I think he just needs to give Lucas a bit of a break. Just uh, stood there watching and watching me as well. So a bit of a weird one now. I'll start again. Yeah, I tried to film it through my window because the customer was watching us. So I tried to do it, it's craft there, just watch the spoil picking up, but my phone overheated. But yeah, customer wanted every last little crumb picking up, which is a bit of a weird one, because Lucas always makes a good job anyway. But yeah, that's why I didn't film, and my phone's overheated again. So, don't know how much footage I'm gonna get. Me and Chelsea's nip now, nah, it's good. Well, I'm just gonna give up telling you that story because every time I tell you that story, my phone over ease. Right, me and Chelsea are nipping up to workshop now to go and get them slabs. Chelsea's driving me, like a chauffeur. I feel quite privileged, don't I'm driving. So yeah, it's quite a long journey. We'll catch back up when we get there and we'll show you the slabs. So, we've got the slabs and on the back. We have got 24 square meters of silver gray. And what they've done, 
it'll give us a little sample of this stuff. We might start stocking this. It's a bit like the jointed compound we use, but it's their brand. So yeah, Cho's gonna drop me off and then she'll take this back to the yard and then get picked up from the yard from one of our traders. So yeah, I think that'll be it for me for the day. I will, I'll talk to you when you get to my house. That's what I'll do, I'll talk to you when you get to my house. There she goes. She's dropped me off home. So that's me done for the day. Me and Mrs. D and J are going to a fashion show. So yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday morning and I'm on the grab today. It's not my dad on the grab. I am on the dad. My dad's got someone coming to fix a few bits around the yard, a few machines. Hopefully you can hear me, it is a little bit loud. We're loading 10 tonne of road stone on Big Red so I can go and deliver that for a customer. Dad will be showing you around today, of course. Like I mentioned, he's got someone coming. Some of you may know who he is already. He is a fellow YouTuber. So, if you know who this guy is, when you see him, let us know in the comments that you know who he is. We do appreciate that, guys. But yeah, tent on the road, so coming on the back of Big Red right now. It's going to be all there. There we have it. So then, just about to leave the yard and off we go to that, well, to that job, I guess, the tent on Roadstone. But I won't be filming it because it is for that trailer. Oh, speak, man! <laughs> I told you, we're not professionals. I won't be filming it because it is for that trader that doesn't like us filming. So we're respecting their wishes and we will not be filming. We'll just be tipping this. I'm, make, I'm getting actually a grab load here, a muck away as well. I'll be bringing it back here and then we'll catch up a little bit later. So, we'll see you a little later. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning and we have got a day in the yard today with me. I've had to put aside a bit of time. Let me just show you. Sick note, she's sick again. Yeah, she's definitely sick again. And here we've got, we've got the professional struggler here, sorting it out. And I can just hear now, Steve here. Just hear Steve now. Steve is back, he's gonna tip this soil off. We can put it through the screener and then he's gonna be on his way. He's got a busy day today. He's took me off the grab, he's doing it. The lads are on the fencing. So yeah, let's get this tipped off. So I'll definitely go through the screener. Nice and dusty. Nice clean back. So we'll put that back down, lower the grab, shut that door and he'll be on his way. It's warm in it, mate. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. But better than it was yesterday because you would have saw that we were absolutely dying in that sun trap of a garden doing that fence so it's jordan and ant on that today and i bet it's hot for them as well i believe it's supposed to be 27 degrees today so we liked it when it was 27 degrees in turkey but not so much when you're installing fences doing grabs and doing maintenance around the yard but they've only got two bays and stevie said it's going to take them a few hours 100 i believe and i trust in that and jordan you guys saw that they did most of the derby job that 50 job I only did about 15 bays. Jordan and Nan did around about 35 bays all by themselves. So I believe they know what they're doing and they can uh, they can make a not too shabby job of that fencing job. But having said that, Steve is gonna fly off now and continue with his grabs because we need to get this grab back so we can swap that clamshell for the one on the other side because that's leaking like nothing. The gap on it's too big, it wants a reconditioner. Yeah. So this soil that I've just grabbed now that I couldn't show you on that job that we always obviously don't show you. It's like, like Dad said before, it's like a four inch gap. So when you're picking up the big scoops like a ton bucket, perfect, fine. But when you get to those last little bits and you're trying to grab it, yes, you try and push the grab together on the floor. It's, it looks like it's good. And then as soon as it lifts up, it's like it releases itself, the hydraulic releases or something. And uh, it's spilling all out, so I've spent the last half an hour bloody shoveling and sweeping up. But it is what it is. So Stevie's on his way now. If he can, he'll try and film that. It's not always possible to film, but if he can, he'll film. Because same, we've got the professional struggler here, Chris, sorting out sick note. A lot of you in the comments told me to get in touch with this guy here to come and sort all our problems out. And boy, there's a lot of problems he's got to sort out. At the minute, he's sorting this out. But yeah, the professional struggle, the struggle bus. The struggle bus is here, so he's sorting it out. Ooh, well he's found something. Found a broken stud, and when it's been off last, obviously it's gone a bit screw whip and the clamps are off and squeezed the O ring. So, so he's the man for the job. He's the man for the job. We need new parts. 
So I may as well take that hydraulic thing off that over as well, Anna. Hello, YouTubers. <laughs> he's got to calm his language. He did say he's going to calm his language. On his channel, click that. It'll be in the description below. Go and give him a like and a subscribe. Give him some support. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but if you want to support D&J, support our man Yay, with his struggles. A professional struggler. I do struggle. Give him a like and a subscribe. Come on, guys. Help him out. I like him. I, I personally like him. He, he's brilliant. He's, he's a dead down to earth guy. And he does some good jobs as well. Some interesting jobs. Yeah. He's doing a charity run, I believe, tomorrow, aren't you, mate? Yeah. So he's doing we're, a charity. Uh, we're driving to Wales, doing a rally around Wales. Uh, in this car, what we've been doing for the past few months, me and the kids, what's taken ages. And we've dragged it out the field. It's been there uh, five years in the field. So we're doing that tomorrow. We're starting off from Newark and going to Wales, doing a rally around Wales, all for charity, then coming back. Whether we'll make it, Dave, we might not even make it out of the yard. It's got to be worth a watch, guys. <laughs> I'm going to be watching so you can watch along with us. But yeah, give him a like and subscribe. It's definitely worth it. Thank you. I'm in the blingo now. My mission is to get one of these with Fred on it. So yeah, come to Bolt with a normal place to get bolts from, see if they can help us out. So we've got goodies and CNC. That was. If anyone wants to know, yeah, sorted us out. Nice back to the yard. So we've changed that pipe there. I didn't show you this, but we've changed that pipe. There's a leak in it. What the Finn? Finn has done his maintenance checks on this machine, and you noticed there was a little tiny pinhole there. So we've changed that. The bearing's still to do, and then this machine is back up and running. But I think what we're going to do now, aren't we, Chris? We're going to move on to the telly truck. Yeah, telly truck. Yeah, because your hydraulic man's been replaced the. O-ring. You've got the bolts, Dave. We're oh, he was happy. Right? He was happy with my purchase. I oh, know, you did well there. Yeah, he, he sent me off to get these bolts, and as you've seen, I got the right bolts. UNC. Right level. Enter, Dave. UNC bolts. UNC bolts. Yeah. UNC bolts. Not very uh, common. No, we can not. leave a comment down below if you use them bolts. I think we're flying over to the telly truck now, and then we'll decide whether we're coming on doing this job or we're going to do the grab. But we'll ring Steve, find out where he is. So we're back on sick now. We've got the O-ring in there, you can see the O-ring. That was the cause of the problem and a snap bolt. So then bolts are fetched for there. Chris is gonna put it all back together. Fingers crossed, I'll do it, fingers crossed. It doesn't leak and we can get put back to work. One job done, 15 to go. <laughs> yeah, he sorted this one out. This one goes straight back to work now, on to the next. We're on a second job now, changing the bearing on this. If you want to see a more in-depth video of that, click on Chris's channel. Yay! And you'll see us struggling with that. Dave knew how to do it anyway. Yeah, he's just, good. just to give him an helping hand. He had it down to a T. Teamwork makes dream work. What's that Dave there? That's my homemade scaffolding extender to knock the bearing down. But if you want to see how we did it, click on his channel. The lads are quite happily cleaning moulds. We will give you a more in-depth video of this. But at the minute, this is what they do. They pop them out and they clean them. And once they're clean, they use that fancy spray gun I bought, which is over there. This is Mason. Mason's a new lad. He's not so new. How long have you been here now? About four months. Might be Everyone wished him a happy birthday. Did you have a good birthday, dude? He had a brilliant birthday. Jordan's over there, he's cleaning moulds. We're all cleaning moulds today. I think we're going to have a big production day tomorrow. No, we're not. We're on abrasive wheel training. Who's on abrasive wheel training? I think Finn and Jordan. It's just me and Mason in the yard tomorrow. Abrasive wheel to 12, fellas. So we'll be back in here after. But yeah, th this is the moulds all sprayed. Just need steels in here. Don't think that one's been sprayed yet. They might have took that out because it's broken there, so they might want a new one. Three ways. We've got the rest of them to pop and it is three o'clock. So a couple of hours, they'll have all them popped, hopefully. Well, let's struggle on with this bearing. Right. We're working through these jobs. That's another one complete. That bearing's done now. So yeah, all done. Now, it's on the clamshell on the grab. So this is the next job. If you are an avid subscriber, you've seen, I had a go at this. But now we're just going to take the, the rotor off the top and just swap them straight over a lot easier. Why Chris is here. May, yeah. take, may as well take full advantage of the situation and use his tools instead of mine. Put <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that off. Now just reconnecting these bolts here. 
put these pipes on here, work out which way it goes, whether we've connected that up right, we'll show you when it's all complete. So we're going to get rid of that bucket now. That bucket works absolutely perfect. It's all changed over. We've got a spare rotor. It's been a productive day today. Stevie's back. He's going to load the vans up. Jordan's back. Jordan's going to put that up there out of the way till we can get it reconditioned. But yeah, they're on the abrasive wheel training tomorrow. There's our professional struggler there. Absolute star. Done his pride today. Jordan just put it up there, look. Probably end up stopping there for a while. It don't look that bad, you know, when it's on there now. It's quite tight, but all them shims in them locators there, they're all knackered. Due to not greasing and lots and lots of wear, but we've done lots of grabs of it. So yeah, now we've got a nice tight one on there. And when we get the other grab back, that's got a tight bucket on anyway. As you know, we sorted that one out. What's good guys? I can't remember the last thing I filmed, but I'm doing a wood grab. I'm almost full and it's still all that down here, but I'm going to try and get as much on it as I can to revamp the tradesman. It's bloody hard doing it by itself. Definitely easier when you've got two people doing the wood grab. So I'll set you up for a time lapse and you can watch me struggle. Oh my god, man, absolutely knackered, sweating, drained. Revamp turned up as you saw, just gave me a bottle of water as well. We're all strapped up, we're all safe. Off to the, uh, off to the wood, <laughs> off to the wood place we go now, go and get rid of this and then head back to the yard. Hopefully I can get there fast because I'm about changing the, uh, the clamp on the grab because like we mentioned before, it's opening could do without having that new one on and we've got a new one mum and dad have bought one so may as well get one god look at the sweat on my head something's not right here i'm not on holiday and i'm working in it i don't like it but i'm gonna get to the tip i'm gonna get back to the order i'll catch back up then guys what's up mate are you warm put them teeth away you gonna sign the video out mate <laughs> we'll have to then won't we me and Steve has just been doing a few costings on a couple of jobs to make sure we're still in the profit margins which we are yeah I've been uh, struggling today with the, with the professional struggler been sorting a few different bits of maintenance jobs out and he's going to start doing all our maintenance for us Stevie has been the grab all day he's been doing the grab, struggling with that bucket, but now we won't have to struggle no more because we have got that blue bucket on, which closes nice and tight, as you know. But yeah, that's enough from us today. I think it's just me tomorrow because Stevie's on the abrasive wheel with the other lads. So it's me and Mason and Chelsea and Bernie and the other lads are on the uh, abrasive wheel. So with that said, we'll see you in the morning, guys. Good morning, it is Thursday morning and it's just me and Mason today. Lads this morning are on their abrasive wheel training. You see, Mason is just taking them panels out to a customer now. I'm just nipping over to the other side, make sure everything's on Kidori over there. I've just unloaded Frank Keys, got some curbs from them. Put them over, where all the curbs go. God, lots of concrete in here. That needs uh, taken out, I believe. So I'm gonna have to come over here and take some of that stuff out. Day. I'm gonna take the vans out in a minute. But yeah, there's a bit of sorting out to do while the lads are on that abrasive wheel training. I've just unloaded the curves. What are curves you may ask? We do drop crossing with curves, vehicle access. There are the curves over there. Just unloaded them. I'm going to put it all on one pallet and I've stuck it there. So it's nice and neat. But yeah, you've got a left dropper, a right dropper. This is a left. As you look at the curb, that's a left. And that one down there is a right. Yeah, you have to wet these curves to get that paper off. I don't know why. They put the paper on so the concrete don't stick. Yeah, nice and neat. Now they can use them. Utilise just one pallet. Everything's all right this side. Let's go back over the other side and just see if Mason's all right loading that custom. Mason's got it all under control. Is that the last few, Mason? Last few, we don't need my help. I think we've had a package delivered. Let's go and have a look. So what can this be? I'm going to get it open. 
think Chelsea would give me that one, wouldn't you? It says fragile all over it, so. Hmm. Oh, we've got a name. Right, who, who likes bubble wrap? Comment down below if you're a kid and you used to like popping bubble, bubble wrap. Without reading a note, I believe one's for me and one's Steve. Yeah, he was wrapped well anyway. <laughs> Look at that. I need a new mug as well. So I'll let Stevie open his when he gets back off this course, but thank you very much. I will open that up and let you know who it is. So here's the letter, just covering his address up for privacy. You have to pause the video if you want to read, but yeah, thank you very much, Ray. I think I remember when you comment, it comes through as DJ on the comments on YouTube, but thank you very much. You do not have to do this, but we love it. We really, really do. Anything you do for us at D&J, I mean, all we're doing is just filming and repaying in, in a bit of footage and a bit of d, &D YouTube. So yeah, two every, everyday guys just filming for you guys. But yeah, whatever you do send in is much appreciated. Thank you very much. We'll let Stevie open his when he gets back. I won't tell him what it is, so surprise on his face. But yeah, thank you very much, Ray. M2 vehicles there can only mean one thing. The lads are back. So the man's back. We are back, guys. How'd it go? Everyone's passed their abrasive wheel training. Um, didn't last too long. It's pretty good. Good course, to be honest. I believe we're back same place tomorrow, first day. Yeah. Uh, that's a full day. This was a bit less than half a day. More like grinders and stuff. Um, but of course, now we're all good for those steel saws, changing the blades, being safe, right equipment. Well, yeah, we've had a bit of a parcel here for Steve. Eh? I've opened mine, so let's see Stevie's reaction on his face. I don't know what it is, so we've not opened it before, so that's just say I've got to open this. Hey, <laughs> you're looking at an awesome DJ. Oh, I don't know who it's come from, I don't know if it's Dad Ray. knows. Yeah, it's Ray. From Ray. Well, thank you very much, Ray. Very much appreciate this, mate. I'll have my first coffee of my day in this. I'll take this home and I'll have, this. I'll have a coffee out of this every day, mate. Do appreciate that, but you haven't got to send us anything, I'm sure my dad said. But we do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Stevie, I believe, is going to take you along the ride for completion of the fencing job he's been on. I've got to do two panel replacements. I've got to do a bow top gate. The lads finished the fencing yesterday, so we'll show you that because you've not saw it. But yeah, me and Andrew just got to go do the panels and the gate. So it should be fun, should be good. And we're going to take you along for the ride, as my dad just said. Next time you see him, he will be. And we're on the job, guys. Me and Ann are here. We're going to be changing this panel this panel and this gate we're gonna have a bow top gate we're not gonna have that thing on top no more then we're gonna have a bow top panel bow top panel so as you look down the drive we've got a nice new fencing to go with the new fencing in the back which is here lads have finished it off yesterday we'll get to that and show you the difference from before or after but it's looking not too shabby indeed but for now we're gonna get these out we're gonna get that out get that out and get that gate off I'm going to do it now. There we have the two bow top panels. Just lifted up the gravel board to raise it because it needed a little bit. Post had a bit of movement, but it was okay. This is it from this side as well. The reason obviously that one's dropped is because it matches at the top of that one and the panel was naturally dropped down. You've probably seen it on the previous clip. But yeah, not looking too shabby. Now it's these gates, these timbers. Plan is to keep the posts. You can just see where they're coming apart there, look. They've moved over time. So we're gonna steel saw down that, cut these posts off at the ground, put our posts there, replace these posts, not go into the ground, but screw into the concrete posts, get them nice and tight, nice and strong. We don't need that brace bar no more, especially while we're having a bow top gate. But we'll get all of this off right now. 
And there we have it, it's gone. This one come out a tree, just slid out. This one, we've had to cut it and bash down with all the chippings that you can see. Could have done with a multi-tool. We've used the new Ryobis, the Recipitator, but obviously we don't want to go too far down with a, with a saw. So a multi-tool would have been good. So what we've cut off there, we've actually cut an angle on the timber post as well to run with the angle. And now we're going to drop it down. Now we're just cutting it off to the top of this post. This post is smaller than this post but we're going to the height of this post because we don't want a timber post above this concrete. We're going to there, running across a little bit of a bow top so it might just naturally step down as it has done. So we'll get these two posts in now. Posts are sitting, pretty sitting ready. This is the one where the gate will be hanging off. So you'll be opening the gate from this way and it will be opening like that. Pretty much exactly how it was, guys. They're all screwed in, they're all nice and tight. Just need to bring the sweeping brush back when we come back. Right now, what we're going to do, we're going to remind you of what this fence was looking like just a day and a bit ago, two days ago, right now. As you can see, old bits of fencing, ready to fall down with all of that ivy that's on it. It wasn't in the best nick. But now, guys, this is what it's looking like. Definitely tell a difference, can't you, where we've started. Some would say, not too shabby. So what you don't know is that we've been to the yard, got a gate, we've picked up an extra man Jordan because, see these panels here? Let me just spin you around. Everything looks good, doesn't it? until you get to these panels here. Well, customer thinks the same as well. So what she's had us do, she's had us quote to replace all of these with new panels. So that's what we're doing. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those ones there should be standard size, six by fives. That one there is 73 wide because that post has slightly moved that way. And obviously you've got two customs there. So the lads are gonna start replacing these panels. I'm just going to head to a quote around the corner from here. So I should be back in around about, say, 15 minutes. We'll see what these lads have got done in that time. Hopefully a few panels have been changed. We'll use these magic fingers to see what they've done. Oh, yeah, lads have been busy. Got all the panels out and now they're starting to slide them in. The quote I've just been to was literally less. And I mean less than three minutes in the van. So I was only around the corner. So I've not given much time to get stuff done. But they smashed it. I like it. Looking better already. Just sliding that one in now. And of course, we've got that gate to do up there. Definitely looking not too shabby. That looks better, don't it? As you can see as well, hopefully you can see anyway, it's just starting to rain, which is unfortunate. The neighbors just asked if he can have those panels. <laughs> yes, mate, you can have those panels. We will put them up at your gate. Hopefully you've got some good use for them. Maybe for these, because you know by now, Dean Jay we do not like these wavy edge panels. Now it's just a gate and the gate is going just here. So I'll move this gate out of the way so lads can start putting these panels Right here at this customer's gate. We'll start cracking on before it gets too wet. Look better than them, don't they? Very nice. Not too shabby indeed. And we've used galvanized steel ironwork because we know a lot of you like that. And that looks better than earlier when it was all those gray panels. Definitely not too shabby now. It's like the whole garden is transformed for what it was looking like two days ago. We are very, very happy with this one, guys. Hopefully you are as well. So definitely, if you like what you see on this video with this transformation, one, give us a like, because that helps the channel. Subscribe if you're brand new, guys, because like I say, we're aiming for 100,000. Definitely comment down below what you think to this one. Well, I think that is enough for Thursday. We shall see you bright and early in the morning. Might even film some of the first aid.
Might do though, not too sure. See you later guys. So, since we last spoke, I've been in the office sorting loads of stuff out. We've got a meeting now at some aggregates. So, probably show you what it's all about, if it's any good. Might start buying aggregates off this company. Some black ice we're interested in, so yeah. We'll catch up when we get there. Morning, it's Friday morning and we are on a first aid course. I do apologise, I did not film yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me, I did not film yesterday. It wasn't what I expected. We're still after some black ice. I don't believe he'll be able to supply us. He's just setting up, so he said he's going to ring us in a few months. Not really the best for us, we need black ice now. So, yeah, first aid course today. Got Jordan. Got Jamie. Just waiting for Bernie now because we've got to drop Hugo off here because that's have an injection. So yeah, as soon as we get there, we'll catch up with the other guys. There's Steve. Uh, bang on time as always, and it's just over there in that car, I believe. So yeah, this is the place. Steve looks like he's on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Steve is going on holiday. So let's get in there. So we're just on break now. I mean, Steve's got. <laughs> Jacket here with Alpha, Alpha. Yeah, yeah, 45 minute break. I can't film though. It's a really, really interesting course. Really, really uh, will be good. Not just at work, general life. Day, yeah. yeah, every life. Really, really interesting. Everyone should do this course. Yeah, it covers CPR, saving lives, and that's what it's all about. So yeah, we're taking a lot in. There's a lot to take in. It's changed a lot since we've done it. Mrs. DJ is on it as well. She's just down there, she's gonna get some food. She didn't like it from that cob fan up there. She didn't like the look of it, I don't think. Or oh, she likes the look of ours yeah, now. Nice, but... <laughs> <laughs> likes the look of ours, but I think she wants something else. So yeah, uh, probably catch up at the end of the course. I was speaking with a couple of the guys through what they thought. But yeah, really, really interesting. And we'll talk more in a little while. So then guys, a bit of a snap. We're still at the training place. Just going through YouTube, the video is now live. We do actually mention it. In ours, and if you want to see more in depth what he actually did at DJ, head over to that channel. What Cracking I'll, channel. What I'll do, guys, I'll click on the uh, video on the laptop, I'll copy the link, and I'll put it in the description. So the link is in the description of this video. Go and give him some love and some support. Cracking and uh, guy. subscribe to his channel. And he's out to that. He has. But back to the course we go. So that's the end of the course. Everyone else is shot off. Just me, Stevie, and Finn. Jamie's in the, the car already, taking him back. So how do you think the course went, mate? It was all right, yeah. Got a good bit of knowledge from it. Feel a bit confident if, uh, if that action ever comes about. It's better to have it than not to have it and stand there like, like, a, like a wet lemon, basically, isn't it? It'll help out if you can. But other than that, yeah, it's been good. It's been a good experience. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot of stuff which changed. You need to keep it up to date and all every three years, so it's well worth doing if you're a company. So I'll catch back up with you at the yard. Steve is finished now, so the last time you see Steve, he's going to nip home. He's got an early one. So yeah, I've got to go back to the yard. I think I'm waiting for Mighty Y, getting the phone call. Should be getting that back today, but we'll see. So yeah, let's head back to the yard and catch up. So come back, no phone call about the grab. Yeah, they've still got it waiting on a part. Bit disappointed. I want it back, but yeah, that's another day at D and J. Another week completed. Yeah, it's been a super cool one. I've enjoyed the course today. We've got some fencing done. We have got some grab work done. But yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a comment down below. If you didn't, leave a comment down below. But yeah, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Mm -hmm.